Okay, so I'd like to welcome Anthony F4GOH, who has very kindly um, offered to speak to us tonight on uh, things which I know will be of interest to many people who have been attending our meetings over the last 12 months, because uh, using the Raspberry Pi and using the Arduino has come up several times, not just from club speakers, but other people have mentioned uh, using the Raspberry Pi, for example, to create access points to enable you to um, transmit into, uh, for example, the digital networks, radio networks. Uh, so there is a lot of interest in this. Um, so I'd like to thank uh, our member Jeff uh, from uh, ON8NT from Belgium uh, for the suggestion, Anthony. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Anthony, and uh, let you say a few words about yourself and start the talk this evening. Okay, uh, thanks, Nick. Uh, hello, everyone. So I, um, I present to you my slideshow uh, uh, that introduce my uh, different uh, tutorials. Uh, beginning, uh, I am uh, uh, I practice radio uh, since uh, ten years, about ten years. I'm a specialist uh, consumption and development of uh, hardware and uh, software, but I am not really uh, very uh, active on the air. I prefer use uh, uh, S SMD uh, and uh, build uh, my own uh, stuff and test it. Um, I like uh, to program uh, uh, with um, C++ uh, uh, software. And uh, my uh, job is a professor of computer science and electronics. Uh, I live uh, near uh, Le Mans, knows for his 24-hour uh, uh, race. This is my, uh, my uh, desk uh, uh, to uh, to build uh, some uh, some stuff uh, um, since a few years i um, publish uh, several articles uh, for example in uh, uh, radcom uh, magazine and uh, qst uh, belgium france uh, spain um, uh, Dutchland and uh, Italia. Uh, I am a specialist uh, on the beaconing uh, station in, uh, for, for example, uh, WSPR beacon on uh, APRS, APRS uh, positioning. Uh, at school, we launch uh, sometimes uh, a balloon. Uh, to uh, measure pressure and uh, temperature uh, over atmosphere. And uh, that's very interesting uh, for a student to uh, build uh, a project around the Arduino and, uh, and to see uh, the picture uh, when the balloon uh, down to the ground. Uh, you can see uh, uh, antenna analyzer and uh, a, a beaconing, this is my first ve version and in the bottom with uh, uh, automatic uh, tuner. And uh, why I uh, wrote uh, the different uh, tutorial. Uh, I use Raspberry Pi uh, since a uh, few years. But uh, this is not, uh, uh, this is a very episodic uh, using, and uh, I install uh, uh, any software, for example, uh, AP rates, uh, for AP rates, I use uh, Dior Wolf, and I configure it, I use it, but uh, I let down the, the project, and uh, I want to uh, use it again, uh, so for example, uh, six months after, and I forgot everything. I forgot the configuration. I forgot uh, how uh, 
how to uh, start up uh, and uh, install the software because in Raspberry you must know uh, different uh, ways to uh, install it and the problem is the bash command uh, sometimes is very uh, very hard and uh, you must have uh, a tutorial to install it you can't uh, remember all the command uh, without any uh, documentation and uh, uh, last year i i uh, I um, push the print screen on my keyboard and I decide to uh, write uh, any uh, lot of tutorial on the Raspberry Pi, on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I start with uh, the part one and part two, the presentation of Raspberry Pi the traffic software installation with uh, WSGTX software uh, and the RTL SDRK. And uh, after the part three, uh, I decide to, um, uh, to dedicate uh, all the tutorial to SWL and particular to um, my student um, to um, uh, to have um, the um, to the, to interest uh, them to, um, on the for the radio, and I uh, after I continue a different tutorial, uh, the Raspbian, the basic command with uh, access right, uh, and uh, remote uh, remote software with uh, open uh, web uh, Rx, uh, Air the cloud to uh, receive uh, NOAA uh, images from a satellite, uh, MP, uh, RPTX, and streaming server with uh, RTL SDR. Uh, there is a lot of uh, things around uh, the RTL SDR key. Uh, to access uh, uh, to all my tutorial, just uh, put my uh, my call sign uh, on Google and select the first uh, link. So uh, there are two ways to control uh, the Raspberry Pi. The, Raspberry Pi. Uh, the easy mode with the desktop and the console is uh, very interesting, but uh, much hard because you must uh, use uh, the bash command and know uh, different command like uh, list directory remove and uh, uh, shown command uh, to uh, change the right access file and uh, uh, use a nano editor uh, configure uh, different software. Um, why? Because uh, there is a different uh, ways uh, to um, to control the Raspberry. Uh, my configuration uh, at home is uh, that uh, images uh, at, the, at the bottom. Um, I have my, uh, my computers and the Raspberry Pi is directly connected via uh, the ADSL box. And I don't have uh, any uh, um, screen directly connected to um, my uh, Raspberry Pi, I control everything with a PC. Uh, why I choose this, uh, uh, this configuration? Because I like use WSGTX and uh, for example, uh, FT8 uh, um, uh, traffic on my sofa. Uh, I am not on my shack. Uh, when I uh, traffic uh, FT8, I, uh, I am with my family on the sofa and I click sometimes on my laptop and control directly uh, the transceiver with uh, the Raspberry Pi. And uh, the, the beginners must uh, control the Raspberry Pi uh, with VNC 
and uh, win scp is just to uh, download and upload uh, some file and uh, sure uh, put it L is to control the the raspberry pi via sh uh, 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 server and um, send a com command to the to the raspberry my first tutorial uh, is uh, to just uh, explain uh, the, the the control of uh, uh, classic uh, uh, transceiver uh, like uh, icom and uh, use uh, a configure cat system uh, and uh, on the uh, WHGSTX and uh, FLDG uh, software. And uh, the second uh, tutorial uh, explains the RTL SDR configuration. And um, after, um, use uh, install uh, different uh, software uh, like uh, for example for RTL SDR uh, G key RX uh, receiver G uh, just a pre screen of uh, G key RX uh, there are uh, for example uh, uh, FT8 uh, decoding. Uh, you should see uh, GQRX uh, receiver at the bottom and uh, uh, via uh, um, uh, software uh, audio cable between uh, GQRX and uh, WVS GTX. Uh, it's possible to decode uh, with uh, any RTL SDR the, the data. I think is this. Uh, uh, the best way for students to learn radio, radio is to uh, listening uh, uh, radio wave and uh, decode it. Uh, the third or the fourth uh, document uh, learn uh, about um, the different uh, command, the essential, essential command in the in the Raspberry Pi bash command because um, uh, when you install Raspberry Pi, you must choose two uh, images, two ready to play images. The first images is with the desktop, but the desktop uh, with uh, um, uh, mouse and, uh, and keyboard control um, uh, consume very much uh, um, uh, process. Uh, if you choose um, directly uh, uh, Raspbian late uh, images, the processor consume low uh, resources and uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, is uh, very uh, uh, is much faster. And uh, is for that is uh, very essential to learn uh, the basic command to control the Raspberry Pi. And uh, now, uh, this is uh, on the Raspberry Pi. This is very interesting because uh, there is a lot of uh, ready images. For example, I like R R2 Cloud. R2 cloud images, R2 cloud, uh, sorry, um, uh, uh, software uh, is the ready images. You just uh, write uh, the images on the uh, micro SD card, plug in on the Raspberry Pi, and uh, uh, the um, uh, anyway uh, weather images uh, happens. On the on the Raspberry Pi, uh, uh, 24 hours after, and it is automatic. Um, the the images are inside uh, the uh, satellite prediction and uh, decode the images uh, directly. 
uh, I think is a good uh, project uh, for a student who to uh, to use it uh, on the club uh, demonstration. Um, uh, uh, and next, um, you have a, a very good project uh, created by uh, Evarist. Evarist is a French uh, uh, AM uh, user. Uh, the things you must uh, know on the Raspberry Pi is there is a GPO4. The GPO4 is the output and uh, just a pin out and put the filter and directly connected uh, to the antenna. You can uh, generate uh, uh, any uh, frequency on the HF and the VHF. Uh, and UHF uh, bound and uh, to send uh, data or uh, audio. Um, uh, RPTX can be uh, used as a, um, a repeater, audio repeater, as a experiment, experimental software. And uh, with uh, RTL SDR key uh, directly connected on the on the PC, uh, you call the uh, decode uh, and test uh, transmission uh, between uh, Raspberry Pi and the uh, on PC. Um, this is a uh, project is uh, very good uh, for students uh, because um, uh, a lot of students have to must to learn. Uh, uh, transmissions at school and different protocols like uh, OOK uh, transmission, uh, FS key transmission, RTTY. Um, uh, in the, uh, the for all the is uh, for sorry um, for the is uh, for exam. Uh, not another uh, tutorial. This is uh, RTL SDR streaming. This is a uh, very interesting to share um, uh, to share uh, the the reception the reception uh, in your shack. Uh, if you uh, are uh, at the outdoor and. Uh, you want to test uh, your transmission in portable version and uh, you could uh, connect uh, with, uh, for example, a smartphone and to know if uh, the, your uh, transmission is good. Um, it's just uh, simple, it's connected uh, directly at uh, your home and uh, know uh, the waterfall, show the waterfall. I use it when uh, I am at school. I'm I'm connecting to uh, to my uh, shack and he, uh, and see the data uh, transmissions on the waterfall directly with uh, RTL as the error key. But uh, this uh, uh, configuration is uh, not uh, not easy, and uh, in my uh, tutorial I. Uh, um, I put a lot of print screen, print screen to show the different uh, step to configure uh, it. Another project uh, very interesting is uh, Open Web RX. Open Webx is a project uh, um, uh, from a German uh, user. Uh, and he had uh, he he had uh, different uh, 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 options. For example, uh, directly uh, decode DMR, DSTAR. Uh, I think uh, the software directly decode uh, WSPR and uh, FT8 uh, data uh, transmission. The, the data are directly uh, uploaded on the PSK uh, reporter, or uh, for example, uh, 
euh, WSPR euh, serveur. Another project from US uh, AMP users is uh, AMP. AMP is uh, images for Raspberry Pi with uh, uh, about 200 installed software. So you don't have to uh, do to uh, put uh, the several command and install it, uh, install different uh, software manually. This is a ready to play software. Very interesting, uh, very interesting uh, uh, images. And I think this is the best uh, uh, images I've never seen. Um, another way to form the Raspberry Pi is a portable solution. I think uh, the Raspberry Pi 400 is a very, very good uh, thing to a portable uh, because there is directly a keyboard, just to plug a mouse and a little uh, screen. And I think uh, with this, uh, this device, uh, you uh, you could uh, use it uh, outdoors, uh, for example, uh, here with uh, my uh, by depot uh, uh, near uh, the French Alp uh, in France. So. Uh, I project uh, next uh, tutorial. Um, uh, I am interesting from uh, AM VOIP uh, project. AM VOIP project uh, is uh, use Raspberry Pi, and um, uh, I uh, could uh, use uh, uh, directly a smartphone and uh, make a QSO. Uh, and uh, phone USO um, with uh, my smartphone. This is the interface uh, between a classic uh, transceiver and a network. Another, sorry, another uh, project uh, is uh, much uh, for uh, uh, programming uh, uh, user. Um, I want to uh, uh, learn uh, some Python, uh, some Python uh, program. I want to use uh, some Python program and MQTT uh, protocol to uh, control uh, transceiver with um, uh, a smartphone, uh, or for example, to change uh, to change. Uh, uh, frequency uh, to uh, adjust uh, volume and uh, other else. Um, uh, I think uh, this is a project uh, could be interesting uh, for students uh, and uh, I learn Python uh, with uh, with uh, software with a transceiver uh, controller because P Python is directly uh, installed on the Raspberry Pi. So this is uh, uh, the end uh, of my slide. Uh, I share perhaps another, uh, another three print, sorry. Voilà. Do you see it? Yes, it's okay. Yeah, we can say that fine. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, WSP here. Uh, yes. It's just uh, the transmission of my beacon. Sorry, 
I, uh, here we are. So this is uh, the, my uh, my beacon. Uh, there's there are the Arduino and uh, little power amplification about uh, one the hundred milliwatts and uh, on the thirty meters. Uh, this is very interesting. I like uh, QRP transmission. Uh, demonstration of uh, R2 cloud. Uh, just uh, I have the Raspberry Pi behind me. I'm connected and uh, I have the schedule and uh, the hours uh, pass list and observation. Uh, I just click on EOA and see images. Uh, this is uh, at the evening. And uh, you know, another you know, not good, no good. 19, uh, much more. Ah, this is the best uh, imaging of the day, perhaps. So this is, uh, voila, this is uh, R the cloud. This is very, very easy. Just uh, have two, uh, uh, just uh, to click the schedule menu and the observation menu. This is uh, very to use. And uh, my uh, website, uh, Fox Tortfall Golf for Scout Tell, and just the fir first link. Uh, other project, Raspberry Pi for AM radio. And uh, there are the all the tutorial is here to part one to part ten and the other perhaps and the uh, tutorial in Spanish. Uh, I thanks uh, Miguel to translate uh, all my uh, tutorial. There is another uh, very interesting link is. Uh, Delta Lima one uh, golf uh, kilo kilo. We can see is a uh, web page. This is set up radio for uh, set up Raspberry Pi for radio and uh, describe uh, all the this software. But uh, you must have uh, some uh, um, of knowledge of Raspberry Pi because, uh, as you can see, there is directly uh, at the bottom, uh, there is directly a command and no, not, not, not a lot of uh, print screen uh, for beginners. Directly the, the, the bash uh, command and not not of uh, free screen. So the his website is a good website, where, but for advanced advanced users. Okay, perhaps uh, you have uh, any question. Okay, lovely. Let me just um, stop the screen share for a minute. Okay, thank you, Anthony. Uh, very interesting indeed. I'm sure there are people here who've got. Uh, questions who've had a go with the Raspberry Pi um, uh, and the Arduino and I've got some questions for Anthony so who wants to go first can I go uh, yes Nick? go on Jeff yeah yeah far away okay bonjour Anthony de Jeff on 8 November Tango uh, thank you very much for this uh, presentation uh, I have some questions for you actually uh, I'm using Wine on Linux, uh, and I'm using the multi PSK program from the French guy, uh, which is decoding all the digital modes, and that is working fine on Linux, thanks to Wine. Could you use Wine also in the Raspberry Pi? No, I no. never, I never uh, try to use uh, Wine on the Raspberry Pi. Okay. I prefer, I prefer using. Um, uh, software uh, created uh, for uh, Linux. Yeah, okay. Well, me too, but 
Multi-PSK is a fantastic program. Yes, yes. I have Sarah. no uh, no something found for Linux. So that's the second uh, question. Um, you spoke about the HumPy. Uh, do you know the Wildepi, the Wildepi from Kilo Mike 4 Alpha Charlie Kilo, uh, Jason, he has built also something similar and he has a very interesting YouTube channel that I have put in, into the chat. You know, uh, Jason? No. Uh, I think uh, there is uh, other uh, ready to play uh, uh, images, but uh, uh, I can't uh, know all the images. Yeah, yeah, of uh, course. But, um, but his YouTube channel is very uh, interesting because he really explains step by step how to configure things. Okay. And he also is writing some scripts to help people and things like that. And, and you know, it's a very interesting YouTube, YouTube channel. So that's Jason, Kilo Mike for Alpha Charlie Kilo. And then okay. an, another question, that's my last question. Perhaps uh, you could uh, send me uh, uh, an email uh, with uh, a link in the directory. Okay, I will do that. I will do that. Um, Thank you. And then another question, we are um, experimenting with D-Star, with picture exchange, échanger des photos uh, yes. on D-Star. And uh, in a direct contact, you can, that works very well on VHF and simplex and even on shortwave, you can do that. It's like uh, slow scan TV, but the quality is very, it's much, much better. Um, and, but some people are using this and me too, with a P-star or another hotspot. And one of the things we, uh, we uh, discover is that it is sometimes very difficult to exchange photos because you have this latency um, phenomenon in P-star. So in, in voice, the hotspots on, on P-star together with the MMDVM, I think, the head which is on the P-star, in voice that's working quite good but if you start to send data or pictures uh, you get you know a lot of um, missing blocks or or um, that the block qui sont pas là qui manque so you you get a lot of missing blocks in the picture and that should be something not only of the kind of internet connection you have but also something within the the raspberry pi 3 or 4 which gave some latency. I don't know what the French word of that would be. Uh, latency, latency. Uh, uh. Okay, um, I try uh, D-Star uh, several uh, years, yeah. um, but uh, uh, I let it down. I work uh, much on Arduino, but I uh, use, um, um, I don't remember the name of the software on the smartphone. Is uh, uh, Peanuts? Peanuts? Ecom e e e software. Okay. Uh, I and uh, yes, uh, there is a little uh, little square image square on yeah. the on the screen, and uh, I um, I build a, a, a Arduino um, uh, GMS key uh, modem. Okay. Um, you could uh, see on my website, um, mm -hmm. and I try uh, each, uh, exchange on the on hotspot, and uh, it is uh, not uh, very uh, not not as very good uh, okay. to exchange uh, um, a picture. But I have um, max success with uh, D-Rates D -rate okay. software. The red software is very interesting, and mm -hmm. uh, you can could in fact interface it uh, with uh, with D stair uh, mm -hmm. transceiver, and uh, D reds um, works um, well on the uh, an, any hotspot, and uh, it is possible to exchange uh, messages, text messages, and uh, images. Okay, okay. D-Rats, D-Rats. D-Rats, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Thank you, Anthony. Merci pour la présentation et à la prochaine. Au revoir, merci. OK, bye-bye. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Jeff. Uh, thank you, Anthony. Um, anyone else with a question to, to Anthony? Yes, can I? Uh, yes, go on, Roger, far away. Hi, Anthony. Thanks for joining us. Um, very interesting. I wonder how you choose between the Arduino and the, and the Raspberry. Is it just a question of resources? Because they seem very similar in many ways, but I just how do you choose for whichever project? Uh, um, sorry, uh, I, I, I don't understand the, the end of the sentence. So, so what I meant was, how do you choose which device to use for a given project? Whether you are going to use an Arduino or, or, or a Raspberry Pi, which, well, how do you choose? Okay. Um, um, the, um, um, the choice between a Raspberry Pi or Arduino um, just uh, uh, just uh, consumption ways. The um, consumption of the um, Raspberry Pi up to uh, two ampere, two ampere, one ampere, uh, or uh, uh, zero point five uh, ampere uh, on the Raspberry Pi uh, zero, and uh, and. Uh, uh, Arduino uh, consumes less uh, than, than uh, 10 milliamps uh, consumption. Uh, for example, I build uh, this uh, uh, this uh, WSPR uh, beaconing and uh, a French uh, uh, navigator name is uh, Girek Soudé uh, across the Atlantic Sea on the paddle, uh, there are uh, two months between Canary and uh, uh, Martinique. Uh, and uh, on this boat, he have uh, this beacon and uh, WSPR beacon. And the consumption is very low because the power is less than one watt. If I put the same transmitter, transmission with a Raspberry Pi, I have much consumption. And on the sea, there is the salt. The salt be damaged. Uh, very quickly co electronic components and perhaps a uh, shortcut on the default connections on the SD card. And if there are the uh, default connection of uh, on uh, SD card, the Raspberry P freeze. This is not the case for the Arduino because there are no SD card. So, with uh, lowest connection and uh, uh, and to to have uh, the best consumption, uh, Girek uh, can transmit his position uh, every 20 minutes during about uh, uh, 80 uh, 80 days. That's interesting. Thank you. I'd forgotten about the power consumption difference. Yeah, that's interesting. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Roger. Um, anyone else with a question to Anthony? Yes, go uh, on, Ken. Ken. Right. Sorry, just on me over to. Thank you, Anthony, for that. I think that was a very good uh, presentation. That my question is not about the Arduino. It's more about something that i spotted on your web on your qrz page yes i noticed that you're very much into building antennas of which i like the same but one antenna caught my eye and that's called the petlawney antenna you know the spiral antenna have you got some experience of this and if you have 
what what was your findings with it alors i return to my uh, page to see it and uh, you see uh, it's halfway down the page it's the spiral antenna ah, yes uh, this is um, uh, from uh, UN uh, 6 uh, um, Oscar November 6 uh, November uh, Romeo uh, um, I think is, uh, is this antenna yes uh, this is uh, no, it is a prototype uh, I want ah. to test it this is, it is not the best antenna I have made it is just for fun and, right, uh, I wondered. And, and to see uh, uh, what I <clears throat> could be uh, done with it. And uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what band? I, what? This is, this is uh, I think, uh, I, um, it is uh, 40 meters. Uh, yeah. This is, uh, yes, uh, interesting uh, to listing radio, but uh, transmission, um, no, no, uh, it is uh, very, very, very loud. Very, very right. loud. Antenna. You think you I, say? I think, uh, I think the, the loop antenna is a, is a, uh, approximately the best, the same, uh, the same, um, same size, and the very best antenna, the magnetic loop antenna, I think is the best way. That is uh, antenna. Okay, I understand. I, I I do think you are right. It's it's probably okay to receive, but not to From transmit. It. No, no. Okay, and uh, thank you very much. Okay. Lovely, thank you, Ken. Uh, anyone Good else day. have a question for Anthony? Th thank you so much for all the reference sites. Do you prefer we start with a Raspberry Pi 3B plus, or do you prefer us to start with a Raspberry Pi 4? Well, I think uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 4, yeah, is a uh, best uh, best for us to repeat uh, the um, you you not uh, um, you, you you don't have to wait installation the, the configuration is a very uh, very speed configuration um, and uh, uh, no difference uh, the, the raspberry p4 now i think is the best uh, best uh, solution Best solution. Uh, the, uh, when you launch uh, Raspberry Pi 4, uh, the the screen appears the, the directory like a, a desktop computer. And uh, when you use, uh, uh, for example, a web browser, this is very quick. Uh, just uh, click on the YouTube uh, channel, and the the video is very very good. And uh, decoding software uh, with, um, for example, Open WebRx and um, uh, RTL SDR with uh, um, uh, TCP IP uh, connection uh, is very, very fast. I think it's the best uh, Raspberry Pi. You must wait too much. Uh, with uh, Raspberry Pi 3 and, uh, and the um, uh, desktop uh, was much uh, slower than, uh, than the fourth uh, version. I am very, very happy uh, with uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 400. Okay. I'm thinking- Outstanding, I will, thank you so I, much for the information. I, I guess I think I, think, uh, I will be integrating this in the case. So Raspberry Pi uh, 400. Okay, thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Clint. Right, anyone else with a question to Anthony? Yes, Terry. Yes, hello. Uh, good evening, Anthony, and hello. thanks for the uh, uh, talk. Um, I have a Raspberry Pi. Not very long now, but uh, I'm getting into it. I'm trying to run something, an application called OBS Studio which is a streaming and uh, recording application. However, OBS Studio does not run natively on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, can I 
change the operating system on the Raspberry Pi so that it is not uh, Raspberry Pi OS, uh, but some other fla flavor of Linux. Can I just uh, install a different operating system? I'm sorry, because uh, I think uh, it will be uh... It will be um, open uh, broadcaster or software. Is that right? That's right. Yes. I never use this software. I never try it on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I don't know. It will be. Uh, it will work. Okay. Um, I, I think some people have used it successfully, but yes. generally speaking, um, uh, it is said that it is not. Um, not easy and you have to get various other plugins now that is beyond my capability at the moment so my question still is can i just use a different operating system on the pi or is raspbian or raspberry os uh, mm -hmm. is that the one that is used on the pi and nothing else is recommended mm, there is a uh, two uh to um, Linux software for Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspbian, I think uh, there uh, there uh, Ubuntu uh, software. Perhaps it works on Ubuntu and uh, not uh, on Raspbian. I don't know. Uh, I want to try, uh, like, I, like I said uh, before, um, uh, I'm uh, MP, uh, not MP, uh, I'm VOEP. Um, uh, a software. This is a plugin, a ready to play plugin, and I just to uh, build an interface between a Raspberry Pi and Trace River. But I, uh, I think I note uh, open broadcast, uh, broadcaster software, and I see uh, perhaps uh, this week's uh, some some test on Raspberry Pi. Perhaps uh, you could uh, send me uh, your email, and I. Um, uh, send you some news about it. That's very kind. Thank you indeed, Anthony. Thank you. Yeah, Ter Terry, I've I've used uh, Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi, so that does that is an alternative to Raspbian. And I think I've got a feeling I've I've read somewhere that um, OBS uh, does run on Ubuntu. Okay. Thank you, uh, Nick. Thanks. I'll take take that one after this uh, after this talk. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Right, anyone else with a question for Anthony? No. If not, uh, can I first of all uh, thank Anthony for his contribution tonight and particularly for all the links. Um, when I um, mm -hmm. uh, send out the next club email to those on the on our club mailing list, you can join if you're not already a member of our mailing list by going to our website page ddars.net scrolling to the bottom and you can see you can join our mailing list. I'll, I'll send out uh, the links that Anthony sent us tonight uh, where you can find his tutorials um, on various okay. aspects of, uh, of the uh, using the Raspberry Pi. Okay, thank you. So, uh, right, uh, Anthony, thank you very much indeed. Can we can we show our appreciation in a normal way to Anthony for his contribution? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Merci, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oui, merci bien. C'est dit très bon. <laughs> uh, C'est C'est difficile. Ma... C'est difficile parce que vous parlez français tout le temps et c'est difficile de, de faire une présentation en anglais. Je, je oui. comprends. Oui. Et, uh, et très bien yes, fait. It is uh, difficult to switch uh, oui. in English, but uh, uh, it is interesting. And uh, sorry for my accent. No, not, not a problem. problem. <laughs> 73 d'Angleterre. Hein? 73. <laughs> 73. And, uh, 73. And goodbye, uh, goodbye to all. Uh, okay. Good night. Au revoir, bonne nuit. Merci. Bonne nuit, merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Bonsoir. Bonsoir.